All right, coming at you with a variety today. Yes, sir. Went to Target, decided to check out the local stores, see what was available today, and we came across four of these scores at Walmart. They had the NFL Prism box, but there was nothing in it, just Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so that was kind of a bummer. I'm still looking for the NFL Prisms. Um, right now, the NFL Prisms and the NBA Hoops are the first on my list. However, after checking about six or seven targets today and a few Walmarts, I was unlucky. Uh, I got all this at one specific target. Uh, I think the vendor had just restocked. I had just missed the... NFL Prisms, and I believe they probably had Megas of uh, the Collegiate Baseball. They have Blasters, so if you have Blasters, you most likely have Megas as well. So I think I just missed the Mega. I already opened up the hobby of that, leading to Spencer Torkinson. So um, I pretty much already have, I'm pretty set on these Collegiate Prism Baseball, but I mean, it's tough to see Retail Prism and not capitalize. So we got three Blasters today. We have four of these scores. We have one cello pack of the baseball. And we have six basketball cello packs. I wish there would have been more. I wouldn't mind another mega of that as well, but it is what it is. So um I think we're gonna start with the basketball. We do have a lot of basketball already. Uh I don't have that many lamellos. Uh I kinda wanna expand my lamello collection a little bit. And my Anthony Edwards collection is pretty nice already. However, still want more. I'm not, not satisfied yet with these collegiate rookies. Uh, Edwards is doing all right. Lamella's doing all right. No one that I can think of that, that's been really doing extremely well. Wiseman's had a pretty good couple games so far with the Warriors. They haven't been winning, but Wiseman has actually looked pretty nice. I think he had about 20 points the other day. I saw so first pack we got a Vernon Carey Jr. We got an RJ Hampton base crusade, Anthony Edwards base, Cole Anthony base, Tyrese. Here is our green, Jaden McDaniels crusade, Payne Pritchard, Trey Jones, Marcus Howard. Was that two Marcus Howards? That's weird. Back-to-back -back Marcus Howards and a Keelan Hayes Global Prospects. So we got two Crusades and one Global Prospects from that base. We'll put those there. Put these ones there. So uh, Anthony Edwards base is not bad. I mean, any Prism card, these Prisms feel really good. Uh, I've had a recent history with getting really bent and out-of-shape Prisms. Um... But these ones are actually in really good shape. So that's a good sign. My last mega box that I got of the Prisms was not in good shape at all. There was a lot of bent cards. Nothing nearly as good as this. So I hope, I'm hoping everything's going to stay the same. And the rest of these packs will be similar. But all right. Red, white, and blue time. Vernon Carey. Oh. Let's go. Lamello Ball, red, white, and blue. I knew it was Lamello just because I saw the American flag. And I think he's, he's got to be the only one in the Global Prospects America because that doesn't even really make sense. He's a Global Prospect, but he's American. <laughs> he's got to be the only guy who has a card like that. Uh, I'm looking for my sleeves here. Where are my sleeves? All right. That's a good... That's, that's a... I'm hoping to get at least one more of these, honestly. I mean, we have six boxes, but I think this might be my best LaMelo card. I mean, we'll take a look later on. However, I do think that is probably the best. Probably the best one I have. I love the way these packs open. By the way, these ones are super easy. Super easy. All right. But that was nice. Hopefully, we could, we could get autos in these as well. I didn't even... Go over the back. Let's see. So we're looking for... There's a 100-card base set, including 80 base, 15 crusade, and 5 global prospects. Also look for base, prism, silver, green, red, white, and blue. Crusade prism, silver, green, red, white, and blue. 
Gold prospect prism, silver, green, red, white, and blue. Prospect autographs, green, downtown on average. Non base cards are included approximately five in every pack. So that sounded about right with our last pack. All right, let's go after this one and see what this one has to offer. The, but yeah, I mean, look at those compared to our Mega. It look these look a lot better. I think these little solo packs are better than the blasters, in my opinion. Sometimes but look at that. We got another Anthony Edwards first one right off the rip, and a Lamelo Ball base. So two base there, but not bad at all. Isaac Okoro, another Hayes, Denny Abadija. That's a good one there. A lot of hype on him. Another green Isaac. Tyrese Maxey Crusade, a Nico card out of Arizona. He's a fan favorite there. All right, so not bad. We got we got another Anthony Edwards and another Ant. Sorry, Lamella Ball. So no complaints. Red, white, and blue time. A little filler card at the end. Oh, I thought I, was, I thought I said Wiseman for a second. A Wiseman would be sweet. Let's go. And then, sure enough, it's a Wiseman. So that's... Yes, sir. I like Wiseman. And that filler card, thanks a lot, Penny. But that's a beautiful card right there. I mean, why, probably the best center in the draft, without a doubt. Hopefully, uh, that is a bummer that that Warriors team isn't as good because, uh, although I am a Laker fan, I think the Warriors are fun to watch. Uh, especially with Clay, Clay being out really throws it all off because Clay's just so smooth and he's just so fun to watch. I mean, the guy dropped almost forty points in one quarter. I mean, it's pretty tough to not want to watch him play the game of basketball. So I believe this is our third pack out of six. So about to be halfway done with just the basketball. We got a long one today. We got Jaden McDaniel's. Denny Avedia, Crusade, Isaac, Base. Oh, wait, this one's cool here. I haven't seen. That's cool. I like that. I like the, the way that one looks. Jaden McDaniels, we got a Global Prospect. Hayes, another Hayes. Patrick Williams. I don't have that many Patrick Williams cards at all. Maybe I just look over his name and don't realize it, but I feel like out of all these packs I've gotten, I feel like. He gets no love. Or doesn't get as much love as he should. All right, we're going for a red, white, and blue. We got a red, white, and blue Lamelo and a Wiseman. Is Edwards next? I would think so. Trey Jones, Devin Dotson, and Casey Stanley. I like the way that looks with that Duke uniform. Two Dukes. It's Duke Pack. All right, put those, put that there. I forgot to take out the crusade there. Oh, I forgot to mention that we got our silver. I didn't even notice this was silver. The silver there. All right. So, okay. So, halfway done with our basketball. Definitely, I think the red ice is, is probably my favorite. At least that I have. I mean, I have to do more, look more into what we got for the prisms and... All that. I know that the red and pink is the highest retail. I know there's silvers and blues and oranges and all that stuff, but I gotta, I gotta get more involved and know more about that. So we've got James Wiseman. Ooh, we got Anthony Edwards Crusade. Uh, that is nice. I'll take that. We got Lamelo Ball base. Ob Toppin. That's our first Ob Toppin. Went to the Knicks. Fifteenth pick. Isaac Okoro Green Crusade. Back to back, same crusade, same player. It's pretty wasteful, but all right, whatever. All right, Keir Lewis, Devin Dotson, Stanley, and an Obi Toppin crusade. 
Huh, I never noticed that the logos were right there. I don't know why I never noticed that, but I never noticed that. So that one wasn't bad. Uh, we got Anthony Edwards Crusade. Nothing too crazy. Still no auto. Um, I really wonder. I have pulled an auto out of these before. Uh, th these are. Uh, I've pulled up about eight of these now. I have two prior. And I got an auto out of the one of the two. So I really am curious to see how rare the autos are in these packs. And if they ever have any like crazy good autos or if they're just like undrafted guys. Ooh, we got a Crusade here. Isaac Okoro. Zeke Naja and Peyton Pritchard. So that we did get a crusade, but I am not too familiar with Isaac Coro. I could be sleeping for sure. Maybe I am. But that was our first crusade so far, I believe, right? Yeah, it was. So getting a crusade probably not very likely then. For the red, white, and blue packs. But I don't know, hopefully. So I'm just open these both up right now. I'm gonna save the red, white, and blues for the end. All right, last two packs. Still no auto, which that's kind of a bummer. I thought I'd get at least one auto, getting six packs. Tyrese Halberton, Crusade, Jalen Smith, Lamelo Ball, base. Do I have his auto? Is that his auto? Maybe it's not. No, I don't think so. Oh, we got a downtown Rua Hachimura. Okay. I'll take that. That's our first downtown in the pack. That's cool. I'll take it. I will take that. That's a cool downtown card. Patrick Williams. Obi Toppin. Jaden McDaniels. And a precious Crusade. So let's get that out there. So that downtown card is probably the best out of that pack. Rui Hachimura. He's a good one to get. All right. So yeah, that Rui is probably the best one of that pack for sure. Let's go last. Last little pack right here. Still no autos. Kind of a little upsetting. James Wiseman, Base Crusade. We got a green coming up. Tyler Bay. I have one of his auto. That's whose auto I have. I have one of his autos I got in one of the mega boxes. Patrick Williams. Ship one here. All right. So that was by far the worst pack. Without a doubt. So I hope that is leading to good red, white, and blue. I mean, when you get one bad thing, you got to think that one bad is hopefully leading to one good. Don't think of two bads in a row. Think of one bad leading to a good. Oh, we did have a silver prism in there. I, oh, damn. I That's probably why the pack is so bad. We had a Patrick Williams silver. I don't even know. It's hard to know. It's hard to tell these silvers sometimes because it looks the same. It's just... It's just shinier. So that's a good one for sure. That, that, that was our second silver of the packs. So all right. Sweet. The last two, red, white, and blue. We got another Trey Jones. <clears throat> Marcus Howard. Two Marcus Howards, dude. I don't know why they do that. Like, do you really, like, <sighs> whatever. Whatever. Imagine like getting only one of those and you two out of your three red white blues are the same player. Like that's just stupid. I need to fix that. No, so no autos. Uh it kinda sucks. And Keelan Hayes, red white blue crusade. That's good. That, that's a good one there. Alright, so to recap. Let's see. For our red, white, and blues, I would say that Hayes is probably our top, in our top three. That Wiseman's nice, for sure. Did we get a... We did get them. So, no no Anthony Edwards red, white, and blues. I did get one already in one of my other packs. So, yeah. So, I would say for sure our top three would have to be Lamelo, Wiseman, and Hayes there. Those are three... 
Solid red, white, and blues. We got our two silvers. Is this? Yeah, this is a silver, yeah. Uh, two silvers there. Patrick Williams. At least we got Patrick Williams. I mean, and Arua downtown. So, not bad. Um, not bad at all. I kind of was hoping for something else that was a little bit more... A little bit better, but hey, it's not bad. For a $10 packs, not bad at all. All right. So, yeah, after pulling the basketball, uh, I definitely did not realize how great this Rua card is. I mean, this is going for ranging from like 50 to 300 on eBay. I don't know what the final price has been paid for and what people have actually paid for but the lowest price for this was 60 bucks so i mean damn that's that's a sweet one right there that's for sure the best pull arguably my best pull from any of the basketball prisms because i don't i mean the wise i mean the edward sorry that doesn't go for 60 <clears> right <throat> now so really 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 happy with this card here this rua that's Gotta be probably the best rookie card I have. Not out of everything, but definitely uh definitely honorable mention in, in the collection. So we'll put that aside. We'll put these two we'll put these cards aside. Put those two silvers there. And these red, white, and blues here. So we'll put the basketball our basketball day is done. We got three blasters to open of the collegiate baseball. And we still have these four NFLs and one of the collegiate baseball. So let's go ahead and open up the football next. We got 40 cards per pack. The scores aren't too crazy. Uh, again, I wish I would have gotten the NFL prisms. Two stores today, I saw the box and got excited for a second. And as I got closer, they were full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So. That was upsetting, but hey, it happens. All right. Potential MVP, Josh Allen. Kareem Hunt. Devontae Parker. We got a Tyler Boyd, underrated wide receiver there. We got a Vince Harry. Marcus Peters. Who we got here? Abe, Adrian Peterson, no longer a member of the Washington football team. Jordan Howard, Melvin Ingram, Peppers, Josh Jacobs, base, base, DK Metcalf, TJ Moore. Oh, here, here come our red inserts or red parallels here. Fletcher Cox, Derrick Henry. That's a nice one there. I like Henry, a big fan of him. Just the red, it just looks sweet overall. And a LaMichael Perrine rookie card in a college jersey. So uh, running back for the Jets. We got it in the zone, Austin Eckler. Not bad there. What do we got? We got a 3D of... All right. So, a little Seahawks defense action. In the zone, the Chubster. Nick Chubb. Sean Watson. So, these cards have really... There's a variety of a lot of different... We got a next level Dalvin Cook. A lot of different looks in these cards. So that's cool. You know, there was a lot of just base. And now the second half is just all kind of just different stuff. So that's that's cool. I like that. We got Game Face, Zeke. In the zone, Michael Thomas. Down year, Michael Thomas. Chicago Bears card. Travis Kelsey to the next level. 3D. In the zone, Josh Allen. Game Face, Mean Shoe. So yeah, I mean... A lot of, here comes our rookie cards in the college jerseys. So, nothing on the rookies, but I do like the variety of different, um, just different variations. So, let's go over the back and look more into that. So, look for base red, base signatures, rookies red, rookies signatures green, on average, non-base cards are included approximately three in every pack. Interesting. Pack number two out of four. Will we get any autos from these footballs? I hope so. Shaq Lawson, Deontay Johnson, your leader in drops. 
Naheem Hines. Back to back, same player. I love it. Nick Bosa, Stephon Diggs in a Vikings jersey. These are 2020, right? Yeah, I don't know why he's still in a Vikings. We've got Jason Pierre-Paul, Darnell Savage Jr., and here's our rookie, another college jersey, Jersey RJ Hill. I like this one here. Game face, Kyler Murray. I like that. I'm, I'm big on Kyler. Aaron Donald in the zone. So none of these cards are numbered or anything. I mean, it's only a five out of in the zone. Pat Mahomes will take that. Game face Lamar Jackson. So I'm really I don't I don't know the Josh Jacobs. That's sweet there. See, I don't know the resale value on these cards. I don't think it would be very much. Uh, but I, I like I like this this wide variety and you know our rookies Anthony McFarland. He stinks. So our rookies are really bad in these packs, and it makes sense why. Um, but I mean, five bucks for a per pack, it, it's not a bad, not bad. I am curious to see if we pull, oh, look at that. It's going to be a college jersey. May, that's probably, that's probably why they're so low. And I wonder why that, I mean, I believe Herbert's going to be in his jersey there because it's, it says Oregon on the back. But I wonder if these cards had to have been made really soon. That would be my best guess because they still have Stefan in a Vikings jersey. They still have Lamar Jackson. Like, I feel like these cards are just made way before, like, Fournette on the Jags, you know. And these are 2020. So I just feel like these cards were probably made way before the season started. That would be my best guess because that's just the way it seems so far. Skip through these bases. Got a Dak Prescott. Let's go ahead and go to these reds. Yep. Mike Williams. Here's San Diego Charger. Trey Burton. And here is our rookie. I have no clue who he is. So, yeah, the rookies have been bricks. I like these in the zone cards, at least. These in the zone, are, I would say, would probably be my favorite. In the zone, Amari Cooper. In the zone, Mike Evans. A bangle here. Game face, Joe. Not. We got a Joe and the Bengals, but not the right Joe. DeAndre Swift. Jalen Hurts. So the Hurts and Herbert, I'll, I'll take those. I mean, those are cool, but college jerseys. I don't know why they're in college jerseys. Why can't, like, your rookie of the year is in a college jersey? It, these cards had to have been made a long time ago. That That's the only thing that makes sense to me. I've never heard, I've never, I mean, I haven't seen that in, a, I mean, every other NFL pack, the, you see guys wearing the college stuff, but not the studs. Big Ben. So this is our last pack here of the NFL, newly released Haskins. Pat Mahomes. It's, I don't even care. Robert Woods. Christian Kirk. All right, so our last three reds, who do we got? Aaron Donald, Brady Jarrett, and Justin Herbert. Okay. All right, so again, it's college jersey, which really, really kind of irritates me. But it's a red Herbert. So it's a red rookie card Herbert. So that can't be that bad, can it? <clears throat> We got Aaron Rodgers, who's this got it? Uh, Marvin Jones. We got uh, Minka Fitzpatrick. That's a sweet one there. I love Minka. Big Minka guy. All right, Packers. Bobby Wagner. Game face. Who is this? Jimmy G. In the zone, Lamar Jackson. In the zone, Saquon. In the zone, Drew Brees. And to close out our set, Shamlet, T. Higgins, and our last two, Brandon A.U. from ASU. So, um, I probably would not get these NFL scores again. I never had got the NFL scores before. But, I mean, not bad. I, I would say my favorite would have to be the Herbert. I mean... 
No Burrows. No 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 love on the rookie QBs. But this red Herbert. Not bad. So alright, we'll move on to our baseball prisms and see what we got there. But not not bad, you know. Not bad so far. I mean, we've probably made our we can make our money back off of those packs just with the Rua card. So we're doing fine. Let's go ahead and move on to our baseball. So this is our one. They had like 10 of these on the shelf. Maybe a little bit more. I already got two of the blasters, but I did want to get at least one. And maybe I am going to be... Maybe I should have bought more... Maybe I should have bought one more of these and let one less of the box. But there's only three boxes there. I figured might as well just take all three. I was going to get two, but it's like you get two, you might as well just get three. So I'm hopefully... I don't know. We'll see what's in here. And that's going to decide really if, if I should have at least doubled up or if I'm cooling with just the blasters. Let's see the big names. Spencer Torkelson. Um, we got Lacey from Texas A&M. We got Gonzalez from New Mexico State. Um, we had Herkelst or shoot, was that his name? Herkelstad or he was, a, he was a second pick. We got Tristan McKenzie off the bat. Uh, he made his debut this year with the Indians. So he shot up to the major leagues right away. He's like 6'4", maybe like 150 pounds. So real bright future for him. He looked really comfortable on the mound already and looks like he belongs. So bright future coming in from him. We got Thunderstruck Joey Weimer. RJ Dabovich Green Parallel. Zach McCambly. Nick Lofton. Jordan DeVario. I believe I have an auto. Yeah, I do have an auto from him looking at it right now. So I have this card in an auto. Jared Kelly and in Austin Martin. Uh, Austin Martin is probably the best and most noble name. Um, I could be wrong, but I think he went to the Blue Jays. Uh, I know he was supposed to be a top five pick for sure, but I think his stock kind of fell a little bit. Not really sure why, but uh, bright future for him for sure on a lot of these guys. So those are our two non-base there. There's a Casey Martin there. And bonus pack time. What do we got to offer in the bonus? So I already have the Color Rush Pencil Torx from Auto. So for this year, um, I mean, we'll see what we have to offer. But I, I'm not sure what can uh, top that. Oh, so we got Blue uh, Lacey. That's sweet there. I was, I've been looking for his card. Oh, I'm looking for a Debt Mirrors as well. I don't have any of, of his as well. Carson Taylor. Zach Daniels. Fireworks. And a filler. So that Lacey card is my favorite of the set so far um hard throwing lefty out of texas a&m guy just carves carves dudes up i mean I, I see a big chris sale resemblance in him i think he could be successful the way he throws alarms a lot of guys and a lot of people think he's tj bound but i mean who isn't nowadays so i mean it's almost like you kind of just try to get out the way so all right blaster box time uh let's see we got so we're getting 30 cards five five cards per pack six packs per box so it shouldn't take that long to break 200 card base set base silver prism green pulser niper green and yellow base red donut circles white donut circles blue donut circles black finite at number 99 90 99 to 1 so as you can see there's a lot of uh variations and there's a lot of numbered cards in these sets so let's get some numbered cards. I, I enjoy numbered cards. Uh, it's just, it makes it more fun when you only, when you have 30 cards and you get a handful of numbered cards, that definitely is a good feeling. So I hope we could get that today. So blaster number one, only five cards per pack. So this, this should go by fairly quick. All right, Power Surge, H.A. Yakovic, Marco Raya, Thunderstruck, Max Mayer. All right. Yes, sir. He's out of Minnesota, and he, yeah, he's a stud. I believe he went seventh overall. No, seventh was Gonzalez. 
Mayer had to be in a top 10 pick. He, I don't know like, off the top of my head, but I know for a fact he was a top 10. So good one there. That's our hit of the first pack. So two, it looks like we got two non-bases per pack. Um, so five cards. Yeah, six. So there's going to be 12 non-bases is what it looks like. So that Max Meyer and that Asa Lacey are at top leaderboard right now. All right. Joey Weimer again. Oh, we got a nine, uh, sorry, a three out of 99. Brandon P. Fadid? We'll pull that one then. Zach Veen, uh, I believe he went to the Mets. Jordan Walker, that's another good name there. All right, so that, that's a sweet uh, Zach Veen fireworks card. Not numbered, but regardless, that's still pretty sweet. And let's see if this is autoed. It is autoed. So first auto there. That Oh, that's the donut things they were talking about. So that's the red donut auto. Cool autograph there. I am not familiar with this guy, uh, to be honest. So I will get some information on him and... He's a pitcher, right handed pitcher. Drafted in 2020. 110Ks in 90 innings. So not bad. So three out of 99, a nice low numbered card there. I'll take it, dude. Nine, or I mean, a three out of 99. So that was our first numbered card. We have three more sets to go. So this is getting us halfway through box number one. Warner Blakely, uh, should have been an angel, right? If he's from Texas, I mean, not Texas, sorry. Um, Detroit, that's what I meant, Detroit. Yeah, so the Angels took him second round, shortstop. Um, really looking forward to his stuff. Uh, out of high school, just a really athletic and young stud, ready to get going. We got a green donut, Asa Lacey, so that's our second Lacey there. Tyler Gentry, green, right there, green donut. Drew Romo, I have a couple number cards of his already. Solari, is this our last one? This one feels really thick for some reason. Is this one different? No. So, all right. Uh, we did get, not bad, that Lacey card. I, I, I'm i really big on Lacey, so I'm, I'll take that. I'm, I really want to read Detmer's. That's just the an Angel fan of me talking, but I'm really big on him as well. He's got that Barry Zito like curveball. Hudson Haskin Thunderstruck out of Tulane. Holden Powell out of UCLA. Zach McCambly and Nick Lofton. I think Nick Lofton, I I've heard his name before. I I'd, I'd have to double check in again to see what he's done. But uh I've definitely heard his name. So, so far throughout the box, we've gotten one numbered card, one auto, the auto numbered. So, I wonder if they're going to have any other, no other uh, numbers. So, is this our silver prism? Or no? Is it? See, it's so hard for me to tell. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely our silver. Carter Palmer, another Jordan, and another Kelly. So, all right. So, only one numbered card. We got one silver. A handful of uh, different ones. So, all right, last pack. What can we what can we get from this last pack? David Calabrese, another angel. So, we've gotten some angel love. He went third round to the angels. He's from Canada. First Canadian, yeah, high schooler out of Canada. So sweet. We will take that. And Nick Frasso. Jeez, he looks like, yeah, he looks super young. Oh yeah, he's LMU. So LMU guy. Brady Singer. That's a good one there. Out of Florida. Another Austin Martin. And a Hence. All right. So that's blaster number one. Uh, not bad. One auto. No Torkelson. Uh, two Lacy's. A nice prism. All right. So, not bad. Not a bad start. 
So we'll put those there. It's our base pile. So it's been it's been a prism day. For sure. Still no NFL prisms, but just a college prism day, I suppose. Alright. So one auto from our first box, and the auto is the only numbered card. So I hope to get a couple more numbered cards. Uh yeah, I'm, I'm really curious. We'll see how box two compares to box number one. Hopefully it's a little better. Box number one, no complaints. Uh, $20 blaster box to get an auto, to get some first rounders in different parallels and non-base. 20 bucks, man. That's I'll take that any day of the week. I don't, I don't know who wouldn't. But uh, not bad. All right. Blaster number two. Six packs. Five cards are packed. That's an interesting shot there. Mitchell Parker. Just, hey, hey bud, throw on a white hat and a, and a white t-shirt and look your best. San Jacinto College. That's probably why. We got Alec Burleson, Power Surge. That's still so funny. That's just white. Just white. Zach Britton out of Louisville. This guy can rake. And a Zach Veen. So that Zach Veen's pretty nice. He's another first rounder. To get all these first rounders, I mean, shoot, dude. That's that's I don't know anyone who would complain about that. Still no uh Speaking of UCLA, or sorry, I thought it was UCLA, it's Carolina, but no uh, Garrett Mitchells. No Garrett Mitchells, no uh, Reed Detmers, no Nick Gonzalez. So there's still a lot of a lot of names we're, we're looking for in these in these, uh, in these boxes. Joe Boyle. Another Jordan. It's just a Jordan box. Jordan's getting a ton of love. Pitcher out of and where is he? San Jose? No, no, not San Jose. St. Joseph's. All right. We got another David Calbrice on the back. Another Thunderstruck Max Meyer. I will take that any day of the week. Thunderstruck. Ah, oh, man. I thought it was a Torkelson. It was a batter on ASU. Thunderstruck. Keenan Williams, I believe he was um, drafted pretty high up as well. I, he might have gone to the, tar the Tigers, actually. I could be wrong. But I thought that the Tigers got both of them. I could be mistaken. And David Calbrice base there. Again, the third rounder out of Canada. Fireworks, Zach Veen. I, did we get this card already? I think we did. Oh, okay, Wander Franco. That's good. That's really good there. Yes, sir. He's one. He's. I think he's a top prospect in baseball. So, I didn't even know he would be included in these packs, but I guess he is. So, sick. All right, Jared Kelly, Hudson Haskin, Hunter Barnhart. Some of these cards feel like they're stuck to another one. So yeah, look at I mean our our non base pile is is about halfway as tall as our uh, as a base pile. So not bad. Put that Franco on its own. So still no auto in this uh, blaster. Mac Wainwright, Will Klein, here's our auto guy. Mason Wynn, that's an interesting way to spell Mason, that's pretty sweet. So, yeah, so not a, ew. here's our silver prism of Will Klein. I always skip over those silver prisms because you can barely even tell. It doesn't even make it like that, it doesn't, to me it doesn't make it that cool because you can't even, I mean, you can't even you can barely tell. Maybe you can, maybe I'm just not seeing it. But, all right, last pack. Um, 
find one silver, two retails. Yeah, so the auto is no guarantee. So maybe our chances of getting an auto aren't very high. Last pack, what can we get? Austin Martin, uh, green parallel. Take that. That is sweet. Isaiah Green <laughs> and Xavier Warren. Isaiah, that's funny. All right, so that recaps box number two. And let's get to box number three. All right, so time for the last blaster out of the three. Uh, now I'm definitely curious as to how a mega... I mean, I've gotten in the hobby. This would... If I do get a mega of this, that would be the first time of anything that I've gotten everything. I have the hobby right back there. So I have the hobby, I have the cello, I have the blaster. So... Now I am thinking about it. I kind of wish I would have got a Mega today. There wasn't any out there, but if there was a Mega, I would uh, I would have a real comparison as to what... I mean, obviously the hobby is going to be the best. But you never know. Sometimes, I mean, with those basketballs, I, I think I personally think the cello packs... I mean, look, I got that downtown Rui that goes for a lot more... Like, a lot of money. Like, decent money. I've gotten that out of a cello but out of a blaster box i get nothing i get base lamella ball and honestly probably like a crusade wiseman is probably my best i mean so sometimes you know you, you, these ten dollar packs are better than the blasters in my opinion i don't think the blasters for anything are really that good i just have I, I like testing them out and i like trying them out but um yeah Green Austin Martin, Freddie Zamora, Zach Veen Bass. All right, so uh, pretty generous on the on the Austin Martins in these blasters. So we will take that. Not a bad guy to get at all. All right, pack two. Kale Eshmanov, 150 points, so, all right, is there still, so, so I wonder if that, if that replaces the autograph, that's really shitty, because 150 points, this will get you really nothing on the PNE website, probably shouldn't show that, um, but, yeah, kind of a, I really hope that doesn't take place of the auto or our hit, which it probably will. Because that took... Uh, maybe it won't, because it only took... It, it took away... I don't know. We'll see. But 150 points is kind of worthless. You know, I have 600 points right now, and I still don't see anything worth it. There we go. Uh, Kajerstad. That's, that's what I was thinking earlier. The second pick in the draft. Fireworks. So we'll take that. For sure. Taylor Dollard out of Cal Poly. And our last two. So, no uh, Torgelson yet. Uh, for me, that feels good, I guess, since I already have an auto from him already. Uh, it's kind of good to see that his cards aren't extremely easy to come by. Since I already, I mean, I already have one of his top ones. AJ Vujicic, Dylan Dingler. Only, uh, only one, only one on base in that little group. So, all right. Interesting. Interesting, for sure. Two packs left. No auto. No numbered card. So, we only got one numbered card. Uh, and this is our third blaster. So, that doesn't seem great. Aaron Sabato. There's our silver. Jimmy Gwenke. Casey Martin, Power Surge. That's a sweet looking one there. And two bases to close out the set. So I like that green and, and uh, that green donut Power Surge. Looks pretty sweet. Uh, there's our silver prism. Put along there with our other silver prism. So we have two silvers in. So I don't know if I missed my, our, our third silver or if I put it away somewhere else already. 
but it's there somewhere. All right, last pack of the Collegiate Baseball. No Torkelsons, uh, no Detmers, no Gonzalez. So still looking for a couple names I hope to pull in this pack. We got a Mason Wynn, Fireworks, PD Halpin, Patrick Bailey, and Alec Burleson. So, okay, so that closes out our Collegiate Baseball. So... To recap, we, we got a lot of non-base cards here. Uh, we don't have to go through all of them, of course, but I would say Katrista is definitely some one of my favorites. Austin Martin, that green donut. Martin's really nice. That firework, Zach Veen, looks pretty sweet there. That Max Mayer Thunderstruck is real nice. I believe we have two Max Mayers. That Lacey card I love. That fireworks is nice. Let me find that other Max Mayer. Yeah, there we go. That definitely is one of the top guns. And yeah, I don't I think we just only had one numbered card. Should have at least. So that, I wonder if that um, 150 points did take away from an auto. That's kind of upsetting because, I mean... I rather have an auto than 150 points. You don't really get much out of those points anyways. So yeah, one numbered card. Uh, here are two silvers. I got to look for the third. It's probably in there somewhere. And our Wander Franco green donut. Shoot. Wander, green, Wander Franco green donut. Probably one of the hits for sure of the box. Top prospect in baseball. So not bad. Go get yourself a pack. Uh... I think the hobby box is only like a hundred bucks for this. I mean, definitely uh, could get your money's worth for only twenty bucks. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, and uh, let me know what was your favorite blow.